Hi, I'm Deep Singh, founder of Mundeeps.com. In this short video, we will learn how to import a page template into our Dixit skin. Now, a page template is different from a portal template. A portal template basically creates the entire portal inside for you. A page template only does that at an individual page level. So, what I have here is um, the Dixit files that we've downloaded from the next door and after I've downloaded the zip file I've extracted them and this is the folders I've seen. So we have the portal templates and we have the page templates. Now a portal template is complete so not only it has all the pages it has all the settings it has all the content all the images and so forth. Page templates on the other hand are bare bones they only have the HTML structure there's no images and so forth. Just to kind of give you a complete picture of how to uh, import a page template completely what we're gonna do is steal the content or images from the portal templates so let's see how we do that let's go to portal templates make sure you choose the one for your darknet new version 6 or 7 I'm working with 7 so I'm gonna go ahead and use this and we're gonna we're interested in dot resources file right here let's copy this file and bring it back here I'm gonna paste it here we're gonna go ahead and rename this file to .zip. Once we do that, we see that inside this file there are a bunch of images and so forth right here uh, in these folders. So what we need to do is go ahead and extract this uh, zip file in our portal directory. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so here's the uh, root of my .NET new installation, and here I'm going to browse to the portals folder, and we're working with portal zero here, so I'm going to open that up, and right here what I'm going to do is go ahead and extract this zip file, and I'm going to go ahead and click yes to all if there's any files that need to be right. What, what this has done is in scans, diction folder, it created a folder called portal template which has all the images that will help us with individual page templates. So having done this step, now we can go ahead and work with individual page templates. We could have done that directly, but then once we import the page templates, there will be no images in the page. Uh, and just to complete the example, I wanted to show this ahead of time. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch over to our demo site and here's the demo site and let's say I want to duplicate this home page which is the home left aligned full width page so let's replace our home page with that one okay so what we're gonna do is go ahead and grab the page template that we want to import and as we looked in our demo site it was called left aligned logo full width so that's this right here I'm gonna go ahead and copy this we're gonna go ahead and paste this into portals zero templates right here so now we have additional templates called left online logo full width page template okay so what we're gonna do is now go to pages and we're gonna click on import page uh, this is the folder where we pasted our template. We're going to choose our template that's called left align logo full width. And we can go ahead and create a new page with this template or just replace the current one. So I'm going to go ahead and replace the current page, which is the current home page. And redirect mode, whether we want to view the page or edit it. I'm going to go ahead and edit it because I want to make sure that we have the diction skin applied to the page. So let's go ahead and click on import. Alright, so now I'm redirected to the page uh, right here and what I'm going to do is make sure under advanced settings I have the page skin applied as the dictionary home right here and I'm going to also make sure that the container is set to dictionary and we'll just use the title each one. So let me go ahead and update this and let's see. And here we go. We have the new home page replaced and now we have the Dixit uh, 
page template imported and we can go ahead and modify the page from here on to customize our for our clients needs and take it from there so that's basically it for for importing a page template now there's one more thing that's very important we imported the home page template so that's why I went ahead and applied the home uh, dish at home skin now if you're importing any other template make sure you apply the appropriate skin in all cases uh, almost always inner HTML but just just make sure that you're using the appropriate skin that's it for this video if you have any questions or concerns please do support again and thank you for watching the video